Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Goodell, Will Comer, and Zinx How do you say this? Zinzinix. Hello! Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. We are here right now. I have Goodell with me. Hello. We are here. This is the first episode we're doing after the block party. And if anybody in the server right now is noticing that literally everything is changing, that's because literally everything is kind of changing. Um, we're kind of riding our post block party buzz and banking on a lot of the exciting things that happen and a lot of the exciting people that we started working with more. One of them who is right here right now is Zinznix. Thank you for being here with us, Zinznix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Will. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> so uh, I'm looking I'm looking at the server and I'm seeing there's a whole art talks category filled with channels. What's that about? I don't know. Some pretentious dickhead thinks that like he can talk about <laughs> art all day and that if any art gets put in the server, it should go in his category so he can look at it and talk and discuss with the artists about it. It's fucking but it asshole. seems like, am so I wrong weird. to say that it looks like it's set up to do a show in there? What? Oh, shit. Oh, what? man. Uh, art Talks, man. A very obscure podcast got picked up by the Newgrounds podcast as if NGP is just some big conglomerate now, just gonna take over the fucking world. So conglomerate is a really nice way to say imperial legion of <laughs> overtaking, <laughs> like eating everything. Exactly, man. But <laughs> I guess the main idea is that we got we got the community more centralized now because of my ties with the art community. I have a I have a better platform in which to to talk about art or like bring people in on it, and then I could I might be actually conducting my own interviews since. Um, our talks was originally just me talking to a microphone until I got fucking sick of hearing myself for like <laughs> nine episodes straight. But it, the amount of reception he got from the audience and from um, from the artists themselves was was incredible. You had artists that really don't don't get used to or, or into the fashion of interacting with the NG community too often. But once they heard me like say some nice words about them, then they they were like, "Damn, that was like I've never heard someone like gush about my art in that kind of way before." So. So it's really nice to have that kind of outlet for the artists. And, and now with uh, NGP, I can kind of host it live and bring you guys in on it. But it's not yeah. just going to be me talking to myself anymore. It's it's going to be with actual artists. Go figure. Art talks with artists, right? So, <laughs> pretty wow. cool, right? And uh, and we're going to schedule around each other and, and we can just have these little live get togethers. And uh, because we're growing as a server, we even talked about doing some community nights too. But we yeah. don't know how far in the future that's going to be. But yeah, it's growing, especially growing. And to say that not you don't just have all these different channels in the Newgrounds podcast server, but they're also like very good and very uh, talkative and active channels. And we're all very excited about that. I'm very excited about that. Yeah. No, you know, uh, yeah. You've all been at the server, right? The like whatever server you're in in Discord, and you'll see that maybe there's like 45 channels, and there's so many things you can do, and there's a slow chat, fast chat, loud chat, quiet chat, and there's a general chat. And what you end up having is like 13 people having a good conversation in general, at maybe one time, and it's just like crickets. The rest of it is just cricket. <laughs> so like the fact that we could have art talks, you're having your community right here with all these fun discussions happening, all these galleries of arts that everybody can see oh, did we lose and them? there's the general chat over here that's also having fun and there's going to be you know music and games that we're also talking about just seeing Absolutely. multiple things happening and at because, one point because because how i am with amazing. art i just keep the open discussion yeah. like i don't know what it is oh. about me i don't know if i'm fucking annoying or what or what it is but i i don't stop like my discussions are very i'm very uh genuine about how i approach <laughs> art so any anytime anybody wants to have even just the smallest hint of like hey i like this or hey uh let's mm. talk about this like with the final fantasy 7 collab that was a big event and when that came out i was i was so thrown back and in, in, in shock and all of everything that they came out that i i closed down all the channels and art talks just to be able to focus on just the collab itself and right now i even have still frames from the animation in chronological order with the mm -hmm. the lead animators that way you can scroll through it remember the scenes and then even react on them with uh new grounds emojis because that's just that's just who i am i just like keeping this this open forum 
to the public to where if you want to talk about art, you have a very safe place to come and talk about it or even a place just to post your art so I can I can uh, relate to it in some way so I can gush my <laughs> feelings about it. Like obviously it's not just some circle jerk where you show up, drop your art off, you want you get to hear good things about it. It's just me being who I am. And, and When I saw you doing all that in the Final Fantasy Seven collab part of the year channels and just having the full recap that you could look at every single – like there's a frame of every single animation and who it is just so you can look at it. I said to myself, that's so cool and it's so much work. And I <laughs> don't think I would ever do that myself, but I'm so glad that you did. Hey, so so before before we get too far into that, we do have some more stuff to do today. So I'm gonna move some stuff along. Okay. That's what we got going on in the server, and that's yes. all really cool. And if you're not if you're not listening to this live right now, if you're checking this out on New Grounds yeah. or Spotify or what have you. Come join our server. It's neat. There's cool mm-hmm. stuff going on in here. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so that's what's going on with the server. We got a few things really quick to say about what's going on with the podcast because yes. we are um, also trying out some new stuff. So we've had um, some, you know, some ups and downs with our with our variety episodes in the past. So we're going for a new model now, <laughs> as far as those go, where uh, we're going to be focusing more on. We're going to have more, you know high quality pre-recorded content like you've heard in the show before but just just more of that and you know a higher production value um and yeah. so we're going to see some cool some cool changes and upgrades coming to the podcast as well not just the server yes we've been doing a lot of experiments with this show and what kind of what it is and in the beginning you could you would tune in and kind of like not know who the hell is going to be on the show uh, who of like the 8 or 10 or 16 people that are going to be on the show and what they're going to talk about and is it going to be an interview with somebody you know or a variety episode with all these different things? And what would the things be? So based on feedback we've gotten, based on the fun of the block party and everything, we're going to be doing like focused and with these really awesome segments that we're starting to have, you know, kind of produced. And if you've heard in the past, the uh, uh, under the radar segments, they pop in in the middle and it's a nice spicy little nugget of like produced content that's very fun to listen to. More of that kind of stuff. And just like a show that you can tune into and know what you're going to be getting into and just having fun with us. That's kind of what we want. Yeah, I think that I think the segments are a really good uh, idea because because then we can go over what's happening on the site without needing to like live record everything, you know, just have like. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going to it's going to be cool. Um, we actually have an interview today. Please, now no. that we're I don't even know how far we are into this. 10 minutes. Now that we're 10 minutes into this episode, uh, uh, here's the big reveal. We have an interview today, and uh, I'm really excited about this one because I, I do think Tom will get a kick out of this. Um, and that's that's part of the reason I was so excited to, to do this interview. And I think it's just a cool, cool project in general. So uh, should we get uh, into that? Is there anything else yeah. that we needed to say before... Before we start that, um, just that you know we're always super active in the server, as you can tell, because we keep talking about it. So if there's anything you see happening that you want to talk about or you want to ask about, if you're confused what's going on, if you have like feedback for us about the server or the show or whatever, we are listening very intently to you guys because we love you guys. So tell us anything you guys want to tell us, and you're just as much a part of this show as we are. So we're listening. Talk to us. Have fun with us, hey. and uh, get ready uh, for this kind of next chapter of the new podcast. podcast. We're yeah. shaking yeah. hands. Not like in the adult way we're like we're like shaking hands professionally and wait what's the adult way uh i'll tell you when you're older all right i'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take off i'm gonna let you guys conduct your interview thank you so much guys this has honestly been like really fun so uh here's to the future of of the new grounds podcast here here thank you man. okay so our guest today is uh is here with us i i think i reload you there I'm a, I'm a pigeon, coo coo coo. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we got a we got a nice. pigeon on the show. Good first line. <laughs> Finally, every you <laughs> you've heard of a couple of crickets. Now here's you, a single pigeon. You've been pigeon. asking for it. Everybody hears like, "Hey, when are you going to get a pigeon on this show?" So you know, we're a podcast of the people. You got one. We got a pigeon for you. So, have you <laughs> Welcome to the show. It's nice to have you. How are you doing today? And nice to be here. You doing all right? You feeling good? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm I'm, I'm feeling very uh, cuckoo. That means um, horny in pigeon talk. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, good. Ah. I'm glad to hear it. Um, <laughs> good. We told you to be horny, and you I came did. horny and ready to go, and we're all glad. We're all glad. I don't it. to disappoint people. <laughs> So, uh, you were working on a project that I think is really cool. Why don't you go ahead yep. and uh, int- introduce the world to it? What is it that you are doing that got you on the show today? I am making a fanzine about Newgrounds. Hey, 
All right. So um, we, we all know the story about, you know, Tom Falb, you know, made this originally New Grounds was some Neo Geo fanzine, right? So I decided to honor him by making a fanzine about New Grounds. And it is called Everything by Everyone. Yes, I know that term is, is already trademarked. It's a title in progress. <laughs> but um, basically... Careful, uh, Tom might yeah. sue you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's very litigious. Yes. Yeah. Well, hopefully <laughs> the premise will make up for my infringement of copyright. So, <laughs> so everything by everyone. <laughs> the zine, anyway, is about um, new grounds. Basically, the whole intent of this fanzine is to just talk about new grounds, talk about the new grounds co community, just you know, highlight all the good content and and whatnot on it. Highlight, highlight the good community, but really. Essentially, it is about um, showcasing how, you know, in this day and age where corporations basically control the entire internet and creativity is, is no longer lucrative, that Newgrounds is, continues to, to, to stand out and strive forward as a website where that, 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 that's not the case, where as an independent creator, you do actually have the ability to, to excel and get people to, to like you, you know? It, like, unlike other sites like, say, YouTube, where it used to be about being creative, now it's uh, not so much about that. And that's really the main intent of, of, of this zine, so to speak. So, how long, uh, how long have you been working on it? I've been working on it since uh, late July, or early August. It originally started out with me asking people just in the forums, like, hey, should Newgrounds have a magazine? And most people were kind of memes about it, but uh, but I decided to take it into uh, my hands and make a whole issue. I spent about a month on it, on the July 2020 issue. I did it all throughout August, so, you know, pro pro probably a bit late to the timing there, but it was the only thing that I could really think to do at the time. And I wrote, I don't even know how, how many pages it was, because I wrote it in a Microsoft Sway of all things, real professional, I know. And I've never heard of Microsoft Sway until this, and yeah, I'm glad I know about it now. It's decent enough. Um, there are more professional softwares out there, <laughs> perhaps, but, you know, I'm kind of on a budget, and my, uh, my disk space is getting <laughs> a bit low, so I use Microsoft Sway. And, yeah, I mean, I, I would say that, like, I wrote it, I wrote all of it, I, w I would say that it's decent. The, the the whole point of it really is to just give more of a template as to what the zine could look like. That's probably why I made it on Microsoft's way of all things. Got it. And it's more like, you know, mm -hmm. anyone who would actually read it, um, I haven't actually put, put, put it up pub, 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 publicly yet, but any, anyone who actually reads it, you know, can, can see that, you know, it's not exactly very professional stuff. It's... It, it, it really is just about, like, just kind of giving people an idea of, like, you know, should we have have a mag, magazine or not? Here's my idea. That's basically it. Yeah. So I've seen it. Will, have you? Have I've you seen it. Yeah, it? I saw it a couple of days ago. It's, okay. It's, so I, I actually feel like it is very professional. Yeah. It looks – it's it's very well organized. Like, yeah. Okay. Little Box is saying in the chat, let us see it. Yeah, please. Wanna, if there is right, anything right, you can right, show right. us. Like, I got it. Just drop it on in there. Yes, I have it. Um, I'll just take the d take one of your DMs here. All right, all right, guys. I'm about to publish it um, for, put for it the, the the official launch date of everything by everyone. <laughs> right here, live on the Newgrounds podcast. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's get got some hype. All right, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. There, there it is. is. Look, Look at glory. it. And I echo Good Isle. It's really good. It's a professional level zine looking thing. And I would almost go Thank far you. as to say, like, you can be a little more proud of this. I know you feel like it's very early and it's very kind of like work template, boilerplate. This is what it might look like in the future. But you can totally be proud of what you have right now and say, this is the new ground zine. I'm making it. It is good. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, There's I mean, a lot I of writing in it. Did some good work, son. <laughs> yeah, thank yeah. you. I, I did put effort into it, of course, because, mm -hmm. you know, I do want people to have have a good enough idea and yeah yeah i think uh, so, I, I no, think it does look really good the server is lighting Thank up you. right now because everybody uh in here right now is looking at it and saying very good things good cover art yes, uh, god damn Thank it you, i see god damn it Thank is something they say in a good way <laughs> um yeah <laughs> so you're being hard so i'm gonna come beat, beat you up please beat me up i'm a pigeon i've got it i need 
I I get beat up every single day by people. Honestly, I think I think a pigeon could take Mr. Joey Prosser. Just saying. I mean, it's I, I'm not uh-huh. not trying to be rude, but. I've seen him in a fight, and uh, I'm not not convinced that uh, the Let's one and only Mr. Joey Prosser could take a pigeon. Like Joey Prosser, are you going <laughs> to let him say that about you? Are you going to let yourself <laughs> take that right now? Are you just going to lie <laughs> down and let somebody say this? <laughs> All right, so, so let's talk. Let's talk about. Uh, sorry, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrangle you back in. Will. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about the the future of of the zine. What's um what are kind of the next steps for you um as far as you know future issues go? What what do you have planned for uh, like a release schedule? Are you planning to do it monthly? You know that well, sort of thing. Well, um, at this point in time, um, I kind of uh, for like up until this point, I kind of after I finished it and in between now, uh, I kind of which is in like late August, I kind of halted further work on it. The reason I did was because you know like I kind of want people, I, I want to get a better idea by the actual community, you know, the kind of you know format, the kind of structure, the kind of style they actually want the zine. In. You know, this is all totally just my interpretation mm-hmm. of it. You know, and so you know like it, it may you know I I may get a whole new ideas maybe won't but you know the main point is just you know seeing how people react to it initially and just kind of you know seeing people's feedback and seeing you know like things i can improve on for the next issue you know the next issue maybe for this month maybe for october depending on you know a number a number one how not lazy i am and 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 number two on you know just how i decide to you know take you know people's feedback and make it into you know a better thing so mm-hmm. You know, but but yeah, like once I have once I'm actually on track with it, I do plan to do you know a monthly, you know, like monthly issue each uh, with it. Where and are, you know uh, they yeah. So where are you gonna release? Are you putting them in uh, Newgrounds forums? Oh, I or would or probably release it on like the forums or something. Yeah. Maybe cool. make like some or I do I, I, actually I do have an I do have a website. On Neo Cities, unfortunately, it looks like absolute shit right now, so it may not <laughs> do go there immediately. Yeah, but yeah, like I could easily do that. Because I mean, you know that you know what you make is when the more you make it and the better you make it, the more important it is that everybody can see it. So as long as there's a yeah. get yourself out there on that, you put it one place like the website, and then you promote it on, from the website on your new grounds. If you want to do your news post, if you want to do yeah. Twitter, if you want to gather yeah. a Patreon eventually, and then release it also through there, and then like. I mean, it's like a zine periodical. It's one of the most famous for the ways that they're distributed and the amount of ways that you can distribute something. You can do yeah. an email chain, for God's sake, if you want to be a boomer about it. Email, too. <laughs> Got a whole breadth of, of, of opportunities. Exciting. And yeah. I'm wondering, yeah. you have a lot of planning and you are talking a lot about the planning you want to put into this in the future. Is this still going to be a solo project just for Mr. Pigeon here? Or is there going to be more people that you would want to get in on a team with you? Like get graphics, oh, that's get a writing. Good question. And that's a very good question. One of the reasons I actually started by asking people on the forums was, was because I wanted to see if anyone would actually be interested in contributing to it themselves. And again, most people just kind of, you know, kind of trolled and, and, and means about it. So I, mm-hmm. that's kind of why I did the whole thing uh, on my own in, in the first place. But yeah, totally. Like, you know, if there are people who genuinely, you know, think that they can, you know, like, I don't know, write articles or just do anything to, you know, contribute to the zine totally it, it'd be great to have other people on board it'd be a lot less, less, less war for me you know i'm going back to school pretty soon so you know like having that extra help is of course you know mm-hmm. it would definitely help the process and give me more time so yeah totally uh ha- having other people on board, board would be great and not just more time but also like more of a solid foundation for the project like i know from experience Indeed, yeah. when you're running something by yourself you know that like the entire project runs on you and your mind and like where you are. And if you feel really, if you suddenly feel bad about the project one day, then like the project is resting on your feelings that day. And having somebody else can actually help you. Like if you're feeling down about it, somebody else can help you pick back up and say, no, this is good. We're still doing it. And almost like being dependent on by other people helps you be more solid and how you work on it too. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I mean, first of all, you know, having other voices, contribute contribute to it not not just my voice would make it so much better you know because yeah i mean you know i i i i, I like to think i have an idea of what i'm talking about i don't always know <laughs> so it you know it, it, it would be great to have other people who can you know really provide a good voice on it but yeah like it, 
exactly what you're saying. Like it all it, it all rests on how I feel if it's just me. And of course, that's mm-hmm. not always a good thing because you know if if, if I get burnt out or if I lose mo- m- motivation to continue it, you know that sucks because then the whole project gets delayed. You know, yeah. Like I mean, it it it, it, it took me the whole month of August just due to the July issue. <laughs> So, you know, yeah. all, all, already me, that was a sign that, you know, this might not be good as just a completely solo project. But, you know, I just wanted to get it done initially and just have, see how people think if I can, if I can actually uh, have other people contribute, contribute to it, that would be fantastic. So, yeah. Well, and you could, uh, you could take a page out of the Newgrounds book and allow for user submissions. So somebody could send you something that they want to have put in the scene. And if you like it, you know, you throw that in there. Then I could, the yeah, other, I can make it yeah. yeah. The other side of that is you get more just diverse content in it, right? You get more, more viewpoints on yeah. Newgrounds, more, more people's exactly. experiences. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I, th- I think that's a really cool. Exactly. Idea. Especially in the earlier days when you're not as networked with people who are like like minded on what you're making, having an open mailbox oh, kind of thing like that, you might not know the best people out there who really want to work on it. But if they have the means, they just email you or message you and say, "Hey, I really want to get this article." Like a lot of people are writers, but don't exactly. have the distribution to be able to have somebody read their writing. A zine is a great right, vehicle exactly. for other people, other artists. So that's really cool for you as kind of like a vessel yeah, for definitely. other people's creativity too. Yeah, exactly. I'm seeing uh, zins in here in the chat uh, begging for me to have to have on. It's already getting off here. <laughs> so when I was a kid, I I was probably 10 years old or so. Um, I got a gift from a family member of mine one time. It was it was a little box, and in the box there were and it, you know it's kind of funny because I do feel like this was a great gift for me as a child, but the the I didn't really know this particular family member very well, and they didn't know me very well. So it's funny that they kind of just hit the nail right on the head with a with a good gift. But uh, uh, it was a little box, and in the box there were um, some different like types of pens and sharpies and stuff, and then a bunch of like paper and just little you know. Uh, things for for drawing and whatnot, and then there were two books in there, and the two books were What You Mean, What's a Zine, The Art of Making Zines and Mini Comics, and the other one was Stolen Sharpie Revolution, a DIY resource for zines and zine culture, <laughs> and those books blew my mind because they're they're just really small little things, um, and they they <laughs> weren't super imposing or anything like that. Uh, they just you know were just little little small books that just didn't didn't really strike me just by looking at them as as sort of I guess powerful in any sort of sense. But mm-hmm. I started reading them and they're actually super interesting because zines have a really cool history. So I'm curious kind of what your past experience with with zines is and kind of what brought you to the conclusion that you wanted to to sort of be a part of that culture. Yeah. Well, you know, like uh, Will was saying, you know, zines are, of course, you know, a great way for just artists to come together and just, you know, create something awesome. And I mean, I'll be honest, this is actually my first real attempt at making a zine. I, over the years in school, you know, like I would, you know, we would kind of do similar things, you know, me and my friends, we would like, you know, we, we, we would make these like um, little like stupid art collages and like and kind of send them around. That's my closest thing so far mm-hmm. to any quality zine. But uh, the main reason I kind of went for this was because, first of all, because, you know, honoring the, the legacy of, you know, uh, Tom Phelps and Neil Geo, but also just because, you know, I think a part of where it came from what, what was because, you know, with, you know, I personally think, and, you know, this might, I'm, 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 I'm going to sound like a bit of a, uh, a warrior giving a speech here, but Newgrounds <laughs> is a, it's like truly a, a one of a kind, you know, site right now in the current day, in current, current state of things, mm-hmm. you know, like for, tw- for 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 you know over twenty years, you know it's been a site where anyone, you know, any artist can just you know hop on, make something you know cool, and people will like it. And the, the difference between you know us and you know bigger, larger sites is, of course, you know they have gone all corporate, and you know creativity has just kind of been crushed for them. But here, you know that that's not the case at all. You know, creativity, independent, creative freedom, still, you know, at the forefront of Newgrounds' morals. And I think part of what could, you know, a, a, a part of like really showcasing that fact is to have something like a zine or, or some kind of online publication that goes a lot more in 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 depth about it and about the people on it and such. You know, of course we have we have Newgrounds has podcasts like, like this one, the Newgrounds podcasts. You know, we have you know. 
forums, all that stuff for discussion and and whatnot. But uh, in, an actual like online publication could just go so much more in depth, you know, for people who want not just for people who want to you know read. Mm-hmm. Like just you know to really you know get you know just to see the perspectives of you know so many d- different people you know writing about it and you know all this you know all just the general you know cool features that come with any magazine or zine or anything like that. So you said and earlier yeah, that the, you this was your first crack at making a zine. Did I hear you right? Yes, it was. Was there any zine before that you read a lot that like inspired you to do something like this? Was there like a proto? Well, I read a lot of like magazines, so I, I've always loved the magazines. For instance, like what? Like I, I subscribed to a bunch. That's kind of so you know making a zine, which is you know an amateur magazine, seemed to kind of look like an attractive thing to me. Mm-hmm. Like what kind of magazines were you yeah. a fan of before? Oh well, I read uh, the National G. Right? Graphic, for instance, Classic. um, I used to yes, um, I there there there's one that I forget the name of, but it was like an artsy magazine. No, mm-hmm. it, it was a while ago, but yeah, and I I read I I I I'm mean, personally I think I'm prob, 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 probably a bit because I mostly read like nature magazines, but so really I, I I'm I'm not some like you know kind of like you know some ultimate. No, nerd on zines or magazines or anything. Really, you could say I'm I, I, I'm just a guy who has a good heart and wants to do the good thing, and that's <laughs> yeah. yes. And you might be that's one of the only doing. people on this chat who have read National Geographic for more than just the <laughs> naked booby women in the middle of the magazine. It's a good thing. <laughs> good, good magazine. Oh my god! And they had one segment where they uh, did like the beginning of Photoshop, and they talked about how Photoshop came to be. Because I think they had to explain why one of their previous monthly pictures was actually fake. But one of my first intros to graphic design was through National Geographic just because they talked about Photoshop. I just remember that about them. Yeah, yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a great, great thing. Great magazine. It's like Photoshop yeah. 1.0. Even if it's not, you know, ancient. Yeah, even if it's not, even if it's not specifically art oriented, you know, I know people who, who, who are really inspired to do it, who, who really inspired to do things in art be, be, because of it, you know, mm-hmm. great thing. But yeah, anyways, yeah, so you could say that I am just, again, I'm just simply a guy who wants to do the good thing. Even if he doesn't have too much um, experience, I just personally love Newgrounds. Yeah. Uh, I love everything on it. So that's that's my main motivation, <laughs> my main inspiration even, you, you could say. Yes. People in the chat right now are just now discovering that New Gra- National Geographic used to have topless women in it, and they're uh, all getting very excited. Calm down, everybody. It's going to be okay. <laughs> so, Henry, I got a question for you. Yeah, you got a you got a platform right now. Uh, you know, people people on Newgrounds listening. I think there's one person in particular who's going to hear this. Uh, so, here's a question for you. Uh, you got yeah. anything you want to say to Tom Fulp? Tom Fulp. Um, <laughs> Thank you very much, Tom Fulp. You have made an amazing website, a, an amazing community. You've been going at this for 20 plus years, which is absolutely fucking incredible. And you have just fostered a, a community of just such amazingness of, you know, like, it, it, especially in this day and age, you know, you've, your this website, this community that you've made is just absolutely incredible. And I hope every day that you continue to, that you continue to do this until the, the day you die, because like truly it is something magnificent. So uh, yeah, thank you for doing this for us, Mister Fulp. I love to imagine a like seventy nine year old Tom Fulp like sitting at a <laughs> like fifty year old computer. And he's just like, I gotta make sure that people can still post lewd drawings <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> Ooh, gotta have the porn. Still think. gotta have the porn. Still gets me going. <laughs> that was the worst thing I've ever done. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think that's about all I have. Will, did you, you have anything else? No, except that thank you for doing something like this. It's it's one thing to go to Newgrounds and put yeah, out well. all your own stuff and have everybody look at all the cool things you're doing. But a zine is one of those pieces of art that can help champion other pieces of art. So you're kind of putting yourself up as a purveyor of other people's good work and seeing what they can do. I hope that the zine keeps going. I hope that if you want, other people can hop on and join, maybe start organizing a little bit of a team going. Definitely. I'll be open to, you know, DM me. There you go. (laughs) You can learn how fun it is to work with volunteers on the internet. Amazing stuff. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, go ahead and uh, 
Include some National Geographic Earth nudes everybody's so excited about, apparently. <laughs> Definitely. I'll be sure to do that for the next one. Um, <laughs> as y'all can probably tell, um, I, 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 I am a man who has pretty much no idea what, what he's doing, but he's trying anyway. We're all like and that. And I know? think that's ultimately what matters. Yeah. Yes. If we can just do one small thing yep. a day to help each other figure out what the fuck any of us are doing here on the internet, yes. I think we're doing something good. That's yeah. exactly what it's about. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for coming on the show. I want to encourage everybody no to go to go check out everything by everyone. The New Grounds fanzine by Hybrilo. I'm really excited to uh, watch as it as it develops and as it continues. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Thanks again for coming on the show. It's good to have thanks, you. Thanks, Ben. No problem. It's, it, it's been great. Thank you for listening to the New Grounds podcast. This show is recorded live on our Discord server. Join us at bit.ly slash NGP Discord. For the latest news, follow us on Twitter at the NG Podcast. Thank you to Waterflame for the use of his song, Gabberfly. Goodbye. And ksin 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 Cinco.